The first day that you step in front of that unit, that platoon, and all eyes are on you, you at that moment you have an understanding that, oh, this really means something, that I'm responsible for everything that these folks do or fail to do. The relationship that we look for between our officers and our enlisted Marines should be exactly what General John A. Lejeune said. It should be a relationship between teacher and scholar, father, son. Because the respect, in my mind, is earned. Uh, you may wear the rank, and, and they may have to salute you, but ultimately, the true respect is earned. And you get that respect by treating them like the way they're supposed to be treated. Didn't let adversity hold you back. That's the relationship that we strive to foster here at Officer Cannon School, so our graduates, when they do become officers in the Marine Corps, can take that ethos back and apply it to their relationship with enlisted Marines. Once you become an officer of Marines, it's no longer about you as the individual. It's about that, that Marine you're leading. Um, and it's about the Marines that are entrusted to your care. You owe it to their moms and dads to uh, lead them with integrity and to teach them integrity. A good leader is one who can sit down, ask questions of his peers and even those under his charge to see how he can improve upon himself and do things better to better accomplish the mission. One of the first things that uh, officers uh, must understand is they don't know it all and they can't do it all. So they have to depend on the ones that have been there for a, a period of time, but at the same time, uh, remember that you are responsible for them all. They expect that you know uh, everything. They expect that you're going to take care of them, and you have to deliver on that. As the officer becomes more experienced himself, he can start to interject more of his ideas about the training and about uh, mission accomplishment. You can be great at everything, but if you're not a person of integrity and you're not able to be trusted, then you know what, then your Marines won't trust you and you won't be an effective leader. You are a leader first and foremost. It's not about you. It's never been about you. It's about those around you that you're supposed to lead. Unselfishness and just a desire to serve uh, and want to take care of those under you, uh, that's what's going to get those, those guys under you through. Officers have the responsibility of leading the finest men and women that I believe our, our nation has to offer, and those are the enlisted Marines. It's an honor and a privilege, but one that weighs heavily on, on the shoulders of officers. The greatest honor is to be able to say that I have led Marines. All these other things of, you know, hey, I got a nice paycheck, and hey, you know, I traveled the world are secondary to that single thing. Plan to defend that airfield. The Marine Corps is about leadership, no matter if you're an officer or an enlisted man. The Marine Corps trains leaders to be leaders and become better leaders. If you understand those basics and, and you go in with an attitude of, of not arrogance, but uh, positivity and making sure that they understand that you have their best interest in mind, the growth will follow.